All right, y'all, in this video, we're going to be talking about Boruto chapter 16. And of course, in this chapter, the biggest thing has to be my guy Kawaki. Kawaki is finally going to get his limiters removed. Everybody that has been talking all that BS, bro. Everybody that has been talking all that BS. When we talk about Boruto, he's getting packed. We already know that off the rip. Let's be honest. Jura, he's getting packed. Damon, we ain't forget about that slap either. He's getting packed. So there's a few people that's on a list, but we're focused on the Otsuki clan as of right now. But regardless, a couple of other things that do stem from that storyline, to be honest, my guy Amato, he got some explaining to do. He put some limiters on Kawaki. Now, a couple of other things. Bro, in the last chapter, I could have sworn, maybe I'm bugging. Y'all tell me in the comment section if I'm bugging. I could have sworn my guy Kawaki has a surveillance system placed in his eyes by Amato. And to be honest, I don't necessarily think Kawaki even knows. And we kind of got that confirmed at the beginning of that particular scene when Boruto asked Kawaki, hey, who, is anybody with you? Kawaki said no. Kawaki said the only person that was pretty much surveilling him was going to be Ada. So if that's the case, then again, hiding more things from everybody else, he has a new ability, which is pretty much a surveillance system. Now, I don't necessarily want to call it a complete Serengon like Ada has, but I wouldn't necessarily be surprised if it's really like a bootleg version of the Serengon. Amato himself didn't necessarily make the Serengon, but he did actually implant it in Ada, and he is extremely familiar with all of its capabilities. So I do want to see specifically, you know, how this surveillance camera thing is actually a thing in the next chapter. One of the interesting things that was actually implied in this particular chapter is that Kaji Koji knew that Kawaki had limiters even prior to them actually leaving the Kata organization. One of the things that was actually said in this particular chapter was that Amato was likely the person who told Boruto and he talked about the told and pretty much referenced that to Kaji Koji. Now if Kaji Koji knows about that, that would mean that he had that information prior because if you guys recall, my guy right here a model he doesn't necessarily have the intel Kaji and koji can see all possible future to be honest even me making that statement is kind of confusing Malum, because i gotta go back and actually now look at everything kawaki said because supposedly my god model has like a bootleg sangon in his eyes but regardless that storyline itself is probably going to be absolutely huge i want to see exactly how strong kawaki can actually get i want to see exactly why am did actually place the limiters on kawaki and of course as i said jurors on the list boruto's on the list let's be honest we might even throw some other characters on the list just for the hell of it right he getting packed up in the next chapter let's keep a stack. This is just contingent on if Kawaki gets his limiters removed, let's be honest. But Kawaki's been downplayed so much in the first, let's say, 15 chapters. I am so glad my guy is finally getting a power up. But next is going to be the Gar and Shinki storyline. I think this right here is going to be absolutely huge for the side characters. Ryu is going to be probably making a beeline to the Hidden Sand Village. He said something absolutely hilarious in the last chapter. They were pretty much talking about, hey, can I kill Cold? This, this, and that. My guy Jiro was like, Nah, you gotta focus on your actual target, right? It was like, bro, that's already a given, bro. He is about to pack my guy guard. But regardless, I actually do want to see exactly how strong Ryu will be. He did show some interesting power in the last chapter when he yoked up code. Even Matsuri couldn't necessarily detect code. So I do wonder if he's like one of the stronger Shinju. If he is, I wouldn't necessarily be completely surprised simply because like he's one of the most recent Shinju that was actually made. But also, I do want to ask you guys in the comment section down below, is the Sand Village cooked? Because as of right now, let's be honest. The Hidden Leaf Village, they need all the defenses that they can actually have. If I'm Big Blood Chicken Mara, I might actually just say, yo, Boruto, stay in the Hidden Leaf Village, pull a caution code, you become an assassin, just be in the Hidden Leaf Village. Kawaki U2, Ada U2, Damon U2, everybody else, that's why I said it might be like a big storyline for the side characters, but I don't necessarily think that's really what's going to happen. I think Boruto is likely going to show up to the Hidden Sand Village. I think it's a good chance that Kawaki shows up to the Hidden Sand Village. Oh my goodness, we already know Mitsuki versus Shinki. That's already supposed to be a given. Hopefully, Mitsuki's on the same level as some of these Shinju. He could actually get there maybe Mitsuki gets a power up during this arc or something like that but Mitsuki versus Shinki and of course we understand that this isn't Shinki this is Ryu it's the Shinju of Shinki but regardless we understand that Mitsuki and Shinki has, has had a rivalry ever since the tuning exam and of course they never got to finish their battle so of course it would be impeccable right to have Mitsuki essentially finish that battle against Ryu it might not be a 1v1 Mitsuki and it might not be that strong but it would be a great storyline for my guy Mitsuki now another character that might be cooked I think it's cold and I think we pretty much all knew, knew this for a very long time. He's cooked. Now, everybody wants him dead, even the Shinju. I think that right there is going to be like a, I think that right there it might be a revelation to my guy Cold. We seen in the last chapter, Ryu said, hey, can I kill Cold? And I think eventually one of them can at least try to kill Cold. But one of the things that we should already understand, he's not liked by pretty much anybody. Not only that, his actual goal of getting the chakra fruit, let's be honest. That's probably not gonna happen. In my personal opinion, I think that Jura is likely going to eat that chocolate fruit and probably just going to kill Cold. And of course, he probably just sent Cold on a dummy mission. It's Cold, and he probably does have at least some sort of gratitude to him because he did actually revive him. But regardless, I think Cold is cooked. Now, not only that, I do want to say in regards to Cold, he was kept alive 
by the board to riders for some reason i have absolutely no idea and of course we haven't actually seen that reason as of yet that makes me believe that we're going to eventually see something with cold now it might not just be like a power up and he becomes extremely powerful now he's just deboning people it might not just be that it might be that he's like an actual important character for the storyline maybe he's like a key to actually shutting down the shinju maybe he's like an actual key to potentially eradicating the otsuki clan because he has so much connection to ishiki otsuki so this is just a bunch of things that could potentially happen now not only that i think one of the biggest things in the next chapter is probably going to be the, the development of boruto and kawaki's relationship they pretty much said in the last chapter if, if momoshiki pops out kawaki could pack boruto they pretty much already had this agreement back in part one of boruto i do want to see exactly how far they stick to that because again in part one of boruto when momoshiki popped out i think boruto was all for kawaki packing them up but naruto wasn't naruto was panicking but i think in this particular situation i think it, it's true both kawaki and boruto they are 100 percent committed to the eradication of the shinju and also of course kawaki is committed to the eradication of the old Susi clan so of course after the eradication of the shinju if momoshiki pops out while my guy kawaki is on his mission to eradicate the old Susi clan of course boris is going to be on that list and he might even be number one now one of the other things that i do want to say side characters might turn the next chapter completely upside down himawadi we haven't necessarily seen her in the last couple of chapters another thing that's going to be huge is going to be eno's storyline is eno actually going to snitch on chicken Mar? we understand that eno's son pretty much almost came pretty much almost died because of a situation pertaining to the shinju so i do want to see if you know is actually going to tell on shikamaru one of the things i do have to point out i mean a couple of chapters ago some of the elders basically told shikamaru like hey we're not gonna forget about what you just did when he essentially had bored to escape now again i don't necessarily think that they knew it was intentional but regardless this paired with a potential you know snitch like my guy shikamaru might be up out of the interim hokage slot so i do want to see specifically what does happen how this pans out. One of the last people I'm interested in, to be honest, is going to be Ada and Damon. I want to see specifically how they react to this new team being formed, Boruto and Kawaki. I talked about it a little bit yesterday. I called it the most diabolical duo in ninja history, but I do want to know what they think about it because they, as Kawaki said, Ada was actually watching over them. Ada did actually see everything that was going on. And nine times out of ten, she's probably going to tell Damon what the hell they were talking about. So I do want to see specifically, you know, how they react to it. Will they be like alarmed? Will they not be alarmed? And of course, how will they react to the hidden sand village as well? Because I'm pretty sure they're probably going to mobilize. Kawaki's probably going to be in it as well. Will they ever like get their hands dirty with the Shinju? I think that'll be like a kind of interesting story, especially now that I mean, I guess Cats is probably going to be out the back soon. That Aid is going to be a target. Will Damon try to just like end the whole entire thing like right now? Like, I think that could be like an interesting storyline later on down the line. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. It's being a boy, Barbie, and we out. It's a knife.